Hi there. This video is looking at the voltage divider circuit and this is a voltage divider circuit with a battery connector here, two resistors in series. At the top here I have a 10k or 10,000 ohm resistor and down here also a 10k resistor. Now, as I said, it's a simple series circuit. What I've also got is a voltmeter here and of course voltmeters are placed in parallel across the components. So this voltmeter is measuring the voltage across this resistor at the top this voltmeter down here, and these are both voltmeters that I built myself, this one here is measuring the voltage across the bottom component, the bottom 10k resistor. Now, if I was to call this resistance R1 and the bottom resistance R2, the top voltage across R1, if I was to call that V1, and the bottom voltage to be called V2, then the actual relationship between these values is that R1 over R2 is equal to V1 over V2. Now, as I said, the, these are both 10K or 10,000 ohm resistors, so you can also see that the voltages are the same as well. So since this resistance is the same as this resistance, this voltage is equal to this voltage. And of course, both voltages add up to the supply voltage. Now, if I was to take out the top resistance and replace it with a smaller value, a 1K resistor, it should be no great surprise that since this resistance is a tenth the value of this one, this voltage here should be a tenth of that voltage. Now that's not exactly what's happening. And the reason is, of course, the stated resistance of this is 1000 ohms. Its resistance won't be exactly equal to that value. Same with this one, 10,000 ohms, it won't be exactly equal to that one. If I was to actually measure that with an ohmmeter, you'd find that the ratio of the resistances R1 over R2 would be exactly equal to the ratio of the voltages V1 over V2. What I'm actually going to do now is to show you where you could use that equation. Now, this here, this is a variable resistor and its resistance can be increased to any value up to 22,000 ohms. Okay, so the fact that it says 22k variable resistor, that's not its actual resistance. It can go up to that value. Now, when it's placed in the circuit like so, you can actually see that this voltage here is about half of the voltage down here. And we can use that equation, R1 over R2 is equal to V1 over V2 to actually calculate the resistance of this resistor here. So that's where we could use it. We could use that equation in order to work out the resistance of an unknown resistor. So as I said, since this voltage is half the voltage of this down here, so V2 is twice the value of V1, it must be that R2 is twice the value of R1. This is a 1K resistor, so it must be that this variable resistor must be set to a resistance of around about 2000 ohms. In fact, we could actually check that if I was to take that out. And if I then place that into this component investigation board, and of course it's connected to an ohmmeter, I'm carefully trying to not turn this dial here. In fact, there you go. This ohmmeter is set to measure any resistance up to 20,000 ohms. So it's measuring kilo, kilo ohms, and of course it's saying that its resistance is 2,000, exactly as we expected. Now just to end this video, what I'll do, I'll get rid of this again and place that variable resistor into our voltage divider circuit again. Now the purpose really of making this video was just to talk about how voltage dividers work. Uh, it's not a theory video, of course there will be a theory video coming out on voltage dividers. It's really trying to get you ready for what comes next, which is transistor switching circuits. Now. What I will do is just to go over the fact that, of course, these two voltages always add up to the supply voltage. And what I'm going to do is actually vary the resistance of this variable resistor by turning the dial. In fact, if I turn it clockwise, the resistance of the variable resistor increases. And in fact, you can see that the voltage across it is increasing. Now, the important thing there, of course, is that I'm not changing the resistance of this 1K resistor. but because I'm increasing the resistance of the variable resistor, the voltage across the variable resistor increases. And of course, because both voltages add up to the supply voltage, that then causes the voltage across the 1K resistor to decrease. And if we do the opposite, if I decrease 
the resistance of the variable resistor then of course this voltage across the variable resistor is decreasing and without actually changing the resistance of the 1k resistor that's causing the voltage across the 1k resistor to increase but again at all times these two voltages add up to the supply voltage and there we go in the next video voltage dividers 2 what we'll be doing again is looking at the same circuit but with uh, thermistors and LDRs that's light dependent resistors and capacitors and so on and looking at how they perform in the voltage divider circuit so look out for that one for now though thanks for listening